What's up guys, it's the Multitasker and this is the second clip that Shadow just sent me and the title is called Actors Whose Career Gets Ruined by Great TV Shows. What, wait a minute, is that, is that, the, act, is that the, the name of the title? Really? So, so there are some actors' careers that are completely ruined by TV shows? It can't be that bad, really? Well, one way to find out. So, without further ado, it's time to react. Mm, excuse me, it's time to react. Jeez. To us regular people, landing a gig on an immensely popular television series might seem like the best work ever for an actor. Years and years of steady salary plus celebrity status? What could go wrong? Well, sometimes these roles aren't quite all they're cracked up to be. These actors hit oh, it so it? big with these TV shows that their careers still haven't fully recovered. Sarah Michelle Gellar. If you have to go down in history for one role and one Buffy. role only, it doesn't get much better than being remembered as the kick-ass Buffy Summers, the Slayer, the Chosen One. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was one of the most influential television series to ever grace the small screen, and fans have stuck by the series for 20 years now. Sarah Michelle Gellar had a number of hits during the Buffy years, like I Know What You Did Last Summer and Cruel Intentions, but the post-Buffy years haven't exactly been kind to Gellar, at least in a cinematic sense. Fortunately, her other pursuits have taken off. In 2002, she married Freddie Prince Jr., and the two 90s sweethearts now have two children. In 2015, Geller launched Foodsters, a monthly subscription service offering baking boxes. And in February 2017, she published her first cookbook. Not bad for a former slayer. David Schwimmer. Since his 10 years as Ross Geller on Friends, Schwimmer's career has basically slowed to a halt. It's a typical case of a great television I, I, role I ruining an popular, actor's chances for success in other arenas. Schwimmer himself it. even acknowledges the damage his friend's success did to his career. Really? In August 2016, he told The Hollywood Reporter how his sudden celebrity status affected him. It made me want to hide under a baseball cap, not be seen. And I realized after a while that I was no longer watching people. I was trying to hide. And as if that weren't wow. bad enough, Schwimmer's enormous celebrity nearly destroyed his personal life, too. It messed with my relationship to other people in, in a way that took years, I think, for me to kind of um, adjust to and be comfortable with. But there's hope on the horizon. Jesus. More recently, Friends fans delighted in the return of David Schwimmer as attorney Robert Kardashian in the critically yeah. acclaimed FX series The People vs. O.J. Simpson. And if that doesn't reboot his career, we can always look forward to another Madagascar, right? Sarah Jessica Parker. Despite the fact that Sarah Jessica Parker said she would never do a television series again after Sex and the City, she popped up on HBO's Divorced, which has received mixed reviews since its premiere in 2016. SJP had quite the career before Sex and the City, beginning as a theater actor on Broadway, and going on to star in such films as L.A. Story, Honeymoon in Vegas, Ed Wood, and Mars Attacks. But it still feels a little like SJP will Did always be remembered as Carrie Hocus? Bradshaw. And there's really nothing wrong with that. Sex in the City has a pretty amazing legacy. Just please don't make any more Sex in the City movies. Jason Alexander. From the cast of Seinfeld, there's Jerry, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and Michael Richards. We all know what happened to Michael Richards, and Louis-Dreyfus yeah. has gone on to star in another great show, Veep. Jerry is still jerrying right along. That leaves Jason Alexander, a fantastic comedic actor whose career just took a nosedive after Seinfeld wrapped in 1998. So what has Alexander been up to since Seinfeld? Well, aside from all those KFC commercials, he's apparently been playing a lot of poker, including in televised tournaments where he donates his winnings to charity. That's a big change from George Costanza, but hey, good for him. The crew of the good. Enterprise. Although Shakespearean-trained actor Patrick Stewart has gone on to many more major roles in his long and prolific career after playing Captain John Luke Picard, the rest of the you Star Trek The Next Generation that. cast was not so lucky. Jonathan Frakes, LeVar Burton, and Brett Spiner have all failed to embark on major careers post-Trek. That speaks more to the career-stifling effects of the iconic characters they played, rather than their talents as actors. Hey, Troy. Hi. I'm LeVar Burton. 
<laughs> Still, the Star Trek fan base is a diehard, dedicated uh, enterprise. Let's hope that the Star Trek legacy has been enough to sustain these three over the years. John Hamm. Mad Men's John Hamm is so totally Don Draper that the only parts he's had since are simply different versions of that same character. Like his brief cameo in Bridesmaids or his role in 30 Rock. I guess I'll see you around then. Or as the French say, Vaja Confusion Fontil. Yeah. But the fact remains that since Mad Men wrapped in 2015, John Hamm's career has been mostly dormant or just flying under the radar. It's only been two years, so let's hope that Ham will be able to find a role that gives him a break from the Don Draper persona. So far, unless you count corny tax preparation commercials, it hasn't happened. Lauren Ambrose. Lauren Ambrose, what happened? We miss you. Ambrose is best remembered for her turn as Claire on HBO's Six Feet Under, one of the most relatable and beloved oh, characters yeah. in the series. Before that, you may have seen Ambrose trapped in a bathroom with Seth Green in 1998's Can't no, Hardly Wait. But I after Six Feet remember. Under ended in 2005, Ambrose hasn't gotten many shots in big-name productions. Aside from a supporting role in the X-Files reboot, we'd love oh, to see her that. again. Hopefully, we'll get her wish soon. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love. Huh. I guess there are some celebrities that are basically just hitting rock bottom, and there are some that are actually doing pretty well. But I'm glad I I'm glad I paused this because you know to Sarah I mean to Sarah Jessica Parker I mean how come they don't remember her that she was also cast in Hocus Pocus that was. That was my that was my all time favorite Halloween movie when I was when I was little, and if I and stop me for saying this, but I believe that there's they're they're planning on doing a sequel, a long time sequel that's only gonna happen on Disney Plus, if it's true, because if it if it is, that would that would be considered that that would be as. A, a deja vu that I enjoyed the most of, of of that film, but damn, and I now I actually feel bad for the David Schremer. I mean, I mean, at least that he is he's doing much better than you know than that that life that he used to have when he was on Friends. So I I barely watched the, the of the series, so please don't give me the give me the crap. But that's that's all I got to say. So, yeah. And there are so many so many names I can, I can tell you. But for right now, I, that's I, I'm I, I believe this is where I'm going to end this video. Unfortunate. So, leave a likes, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. So take care, guys.